Last episode, we started the club, but in the meantime, I played some games, did some SBCs, got a bunch of objectives completed. So today, we're gonna have a pretty big pack opening with the new promo, Road to the Knockout. And let's just get into it right away. I did the assist mastery, finishing mastery. I actually wanted to do it while doing squad battles right away, but I played one game on world class and I barely won one nil because this is currently the team we have. And I even bought her because I was like, if we have at least one good strike, I can manage and we can just get the squad battle games done as well didn't work out it was still difficult so i sold her for like 1k profit which is nice but now i was also able to already start the first own team because obviously i bought her so those games didn't count so we're slowly working towards a 50k pack and a 100k pack there as well but for now we have some good packs let's just get into it and we're starting off with a player pick one out of three 75 plus didn't expect anything from it. We do get an 82 rated. Nothing too crazy. And since this year, I cannot see how many packs we have. So no idea. We should have a lot. Also some bad ones. As you can see, we have some silver ones. Let's get opening and let me show you what we get. Okay, we get a tunnel in the second pack. Masraoui. I was like, maybe it could be Hakimi. I don't think he's a walkout. But you know what? If we need to build a squad battle team, that's not even a bad player to have. And we get 1,000 coins in an untradable pack. We need a lot of coins. Currently 2.4 million coins for Henri. So it's a start. Tunnel. Another walkout. Center mid. Zielinski. Decent card. But let me show you hopefully some better packs now. Ooh, our first 83 that we pack. Is she gonna be used? Probably not. Doesn't look like a good 83 at all. But we're working our way up. Next pack, another 83. And that's a more decent one. Also from Juventus. And I've asked you guys last episode, should we include Juventus and MLS as well? The answer is gonna be yes. We're gonna build on those as well. That's gonna be more towards when we really have Henri. That we can really build around it. But for now, that's a very decent start. We get a walkout! 75 times 2! Rofo! Oh, that's a good one! And Barcelona as well! Oh, that's a really nice one to get. It's untradeable, but she's like 25k or something. Our first walkout of the series. And it's a good one as well. It's not a fodder one. Oh, that's sick. In a 75 times 2, and we get an 83 as well. What a pack. And now we get Danilo as well. Good center back. Good link as well. We are actually getting very decent players to build a starting squad. Ben White. Another Arsenal player. Could be a decent center back. Gravenberg is very good for Evos right now. Obviously, not really for us. But for my main account, I might do an Evo on him. And by the way, this year we also have a dupe store. Once you send everything to your club, press R2. It's the bumper, I think it's called for Xbox. The right bumper or trigger. I don't know. I don't know how it's called. <laughs> if you press that one, you can send it to your dupe storage if it's an untradeable player. And that way you can always trade the player in later for an SBC. For now, we have four packs left. We, we will get it some more. Don't worry. But we have a 35k pack, a 55k pack, and two 100k packs at the moment. We gotta get at least one walkout out of that, right? I hope so. First one is the walkout right away. Come on. Right back, English. It's gonna be Trent. I'll take it. Walkout is a walkout. I'm very happy with that. Do I really want to play him as a right back? Not really sure. But potentially in the starting squad we could. Oh, nah, nah. Turum is a good one. He has an SBC right now. That is quite cheap, so we might have to do that one. We're gonna open the same pack, but now every item is rare. Can we get another inform? As my controller disconnects, we don't. It is Koulibaly. That's not ideal. But Di Maria is a decent player at the start as well. Poro, decent right back. And besides that, we get absolutely nothing. So two 100k packs. We should get at least one walkout from it. This is not a walkout. It's gonna be Madison 85, hopefully. That's the best next thing. Madison and Palmer and Coleman. Oh, that's actually a good pack. Jonathan as well. We cannot sell it, but they're expensive, which means they're good starting players. Oh, that's actually a really decent pack. I'm not mad at that. I just want to get a walk out of the other one. And we don't. French Cam. Is Nkunku not a walk out anymore? Is this Nkunku? That might be Nkunku. Oh, that's good. I'm pretty sure he's really good in game. And he is around 20,000 coins, unless that's his minimum price. No, it's not. Yeah, he's around 20,000 coins. Let's go. Again, we cannot sell it as untradeable, but that's really good. I think we can already create a pretty good starting team like this. And I'm going to show you another way to quickly get some packs and coins with not too much effort either. But let me switch this team around into what we have right now. And this is what I've built. We have 32 chemistry. Only commas on two chemistry but I'd rather 
rather have him on two chemistry than anyone else on full. It looks like a very decent team to be fair after just a few games played. Of course on the bench we have a lot of good players still that I couldn't really fit in but everything is first owner so if we're gonna play squad battles with it we also work towards even more packs and honestly this looks very steady. I don't know if I want to play rivals with this yet we still have a few days left for that. And talking about rivals next episode we're gonna play some rivals I'm gonna show you tactics how the player roles and everything like that works so if you have any questions about that let me already know in the comments what you want to know and I'll make sure I explain it in the next episode. But I promise you guys that I would show you a way to get more coins and more packs and we want to head over to moments because if we go to the star gallery here and we go to a different tab for one star only you already get a 7 half k pack that is tradable but what we really want to work towards as well is the 60 star pack and it includes 12 items all players all gold all rare it's a tradable 50k pack you can do this twice I think we can manage to do it once now and we need a better team to do it twice but very simple start with the foundation go to passing for example you can choose whatever you want here as long as your team fits the requirements these don't have requirements and then you start the game and on the top right you will see what you need to do we just need to do some ground passes there we go it's done that's all we have to do for that one we have one star we can already open a pack there we go we have one star we're gonna open this pack it opens right away we get a tunnel it's not a walkout but that's all right who is it it is Gallagher. But the healing item sells. The players we're just gonna list. And the rest we quick sell. So we have another 1700 coins. It's as easy as that. But what I will do now, I'll make sure I have 60 stars. I'll play my squad battles. And as I showed before, I already played a few games. But we have 9 games left. And with 9 games, if we would manage to win everything on Legendary, we could still get Elite 3. Which would give us these packs. But honestly, with the team we have, playing on Legendary could be very tough. So I feel like I'm gonna play on World Class. And then we're gonna end up on gold one which are still decent packs but let me skip to the next day and you'll see the tradable 50k pack for moments and these rewards the next day okay guys it's the next day squad battle rewards are here and i played till like 4 a.m to do them because after stream i still needed to do them and i lost the last game to get elite so we have gold one rewards all the time for gold one let's hope it's worth it but i also grinded 120 moment stars so we also have two tradable 50k packs after these so we got twice a 75 times five an eight 83 times 2 and a mega pack. Mega pack is 82 plus, so I will open the 83 double as loss, I think. But yeah, I grinded the game. Needed to win the last game on Legendary against like an 88 rated squad. And our team was not good enough. And I was too tired. But we start off with a Ben White, an 84. Not too bad. Obviously, we want to get something more out of it. So we want to see at least one walkout out of these. And it doesn't look like it yet. You know what? We're first going to open the 83 double. Come on. Not a special card. Is it a walkout? It is. It's a woman. Striker. Ah, oh, it's going to be Pajor, isn't it? Ah, oh, it's going to be Pajor, isn't it? One of the only walkouts I get on... Wait, that's... Who's that? Even worse. At least it's a walkout. That's what I asked for, you know. And the Licht. We'll send it to the transfer list for now. And then it's time for the Mega Pack before we go into the Moments Packs. Not a special card. Also not a walkout. So we are going to skip it here. And it's an 83. Yeah, that's not great. And as you might have seen, we have less coins than we had last time. That's because I bought a bunch of high-rated players to do the moments with. And since they're like 85 to 87 rated, I expect tonight the same Maximan SPC to come out. Well, when you watch this, it's already out most likely. And hopefully Father goes up, so it's like a win-win. But as you see, I grinded 120 stars so we can open this tradable 50k pack twice. I want to see at least one walkout out of this. That's another walkout. That is an 83. And nothing here that is worth anything. And with a lower rated team, these moment stars are sometimes a little bit tricky. So was it worth the time? It's not a walkout. So the answer is most likely going to be no. That's a big big no even though garnacho at some point might be up for like an evolution but no well that wasn't worth it next episode i'm going to show you some rivals go through the settings go to the formations the in-game tactics and i'm going to see if we can get some wins but until then i also play with the fastest team possible in fc25 it's on the screen right now so if you haven't watched it yet go give it a watch and yeah is pace op let's find out thanks for coming man thank you really appreciate right. it